Hey guys, what's up? I'm Justin. I'm here with Richard and guys. We have part four. We're gonna try to end this up in this video today. Uh, well, in the last part, we're just making a part four video. Um, this will be the last of the trade candidates for right now. I'm gonna try to make this a daily thing. Um, Richard, thank you for coming back on the show. And we have Maglia Ordonez. This guy is pretty, pretty, pretty old. Um, what team will pick up Maglia Ordonez? Do you think, Richard? Uh, well, I have three teams that are a possibility. Um, you know, Maglio can still play the field somewhat, but he can pre he'd pretty much be a DH. I can see the Rockies maybe pursuing him, um, since, you know, they do have Seth Smith, who's pretty good, but he, uh, I think Maglio is a much better offensive replacement over Seth Smith. The Phillies, um, you know, Maglio is making $10 million this year. And he's only on a one-year deal. He can definitely replace Ben Francisco. And <clears throat> try not to be biased here. And it might not happen because of how much he costs. But the Rays, uh, they're in search of a bat. But like I said, Maglio might be out of their budget. That's still a possibility. Like I said, they're in search for a bat. Um, Maglio might be, but probably not. I just put them on the list because they're in search for a big impact bat. But, um, yeah, those are the three teams that really stand out to me. Yeah. Um, I really say that the Rockies are a good candidate. I mean, the Phillies are a good candidate. Um, I could actually see Magli with this. The Tigers the one that had to go back to him because he had, he said he has a heart and soul in Detroit. And, the, and he had, was a free agent coming into last uh, off season, which was the 2011 off season. I cannot really see what's going on with what's the whole deal on Maglio, but I really see that maybe the Phillies, maybe the Rockies are a good candidate for this guy, but I would also like to throw in maybe the Arizona Diamondbacks for this guy. I mean, this is all going into consideration. Um, I could see the Diamondbacks possibly trading because they said they're willing to trade out maybe Upton, maybe Chris Young, but there's no way in hell that the Diamondbacks would trade Justin Upton, who was a really dominating outfielder, or Chris Young to the Tigers for Maglio or Dornius. But maybe they can consider trading Gerardo Parra or for Maglio. Maybe that's a little much because Gerardo Parra doesn't average like seven or eight home runs a season. Maglio can average maybe 12 or 13 home runs a season. But it's going to be a big question. But I can possibly see him staying in Detroit. But I think the Phillies are going to be a true big favorite for this guy. So we all have to see. Next, we have Lyle Overbay. Um, coming from Pittsburgh, he came in, I think this is a two or maybe a year contract. Richard, do you know how long his contract is with Pittsburgh? Yeah, it's a one-year, $5 million deal. And I actually just wrote an article on Lyle Overbay um, as one of the players that the Rays could pursue. Uh, he's uh, that right there, like I said, um, with Matt Leo maybe, but I think Lyle Overbay is a really good possibility. Um, like I said, one million, I mean, I mean, one year, five million dollars, pretty inexpensive. That's still quite expensive for the Rays, but it is only a one year deal. Um, he's 34, he can provide uh, veteran leadership for the Rays. He's averaged 17 home runs from 04 to 2010. Um, you know, he could uh, platoon the DH role with Damon and the first base role with Dan Johnson if the Rays are still in it. Um, but I see the Rays as a really good fit. I actually have to agree with you. I mean, maybe the Rays are a good fit. Um, throwing in one of my fa my favorite teams, the Yankees and the Angels. I have to throw in the Angels. Still having somewhat trouble at first base. Kendry Morales, no one know when the hell this guy is going to come off the DL. Um, the team really needs to find that first baseman. I mean, I don't know who exactly their first baseman is right now. Because Mike Trumbo, Mike Trumbo um, totally left out his name. I'm usually totally used to seeing Mike Napoli and Kendra Morales at first baseman. Um, not knowing a lot of the prospects coming out of the Angels organization, like Peter Borjos, Mike Trumbo, Hank Kronger, um, he totally left my mind. I just really, 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 really think that the Angels could probably pursue him because also the Angels have enough, a couple of good pieces that they could trade. Vernon Wells yeah. has not been expected. This guy has been hitting like maybe a 193 is what I've heard the last time he's at batting. Um, he's not one of you, but he was actually expected from the Angels. Um, he could be a piece to be traded. 
Um, possibly want to throw somebody out there. Possibly maybe catcher Jeff Mathis. Um, they got to get a good catcher. I mean, Jeff Mathis and Hank Cronkite. Bobby Wilson. Bobby Wilson. Um, they have three catchers right now in the majors. They just got to find a, the power hitter catcher. I mean, these guys are not power hitter catchers. These guys kind of look like outfields in my book, but Jeff Mathis is the catcher for the squad. And they just got to get somebody good. I mean, they could possibly go after Benji Molina, who is a free agent right now. He says he's retired for now. And maybe he could possibly come to the LA Angels and do something to help this team out. But Lyle Overbay will be a great fit at first baseman because of Mike Trump, Trumbo. Just, I don't really see him get, getting anything done out there. In He's LA. really good, though. Uh, sorry to cut you off there, but last season at AAA, he hit 301 with 36 homers and 122 RBI. So he's, he's got quite a bit of power. Yeah, he has a quite a bit of power. Uh, I didn't really check out his AAA stats, but so far this season, he's doing pretty decent. I'm looking at his stats right now. Um, pretty decent so far, so I can see maybe the Pirates trading away Lyle Overbay to the Angels. I mean, maybe possibly trading for Peter Borjos, or maybe some key minor league prospects. Um, it's all going to go into consideration, like I said, with a couple of the other players, like Jeff Francis, Jeff Neiman, maybe Damon, and possibly Maglio. So, where could this guy go? Um, next, we have Matt Kemp. This guy has been on a lot of teams' radar. A lot of teams, I really have a lot of favor for him. Um, I think Matt Kemp can feel really, really well at home. Uh, I don't know. It's, it's a big sh struggle for this guy. Richard, who do you feel will pick up Matt Kemp? Who will he feel at, feel at home with? Well, Matt Kemp, uh, you know, he's only scheduled to make... Um, Six six million nine hundred fifty thousand dollars this year. I mean, this guy's gonna be really, really, really a uh, trade commodity, unless of course the Dodgers are in it, um, which I mean is a possibility. They're playing pretty good right now, but there are just a list of teams uh, that could be interested in him. The A's, um, you know, the Braves, the Brewers, um, maybe even. Uh, let me see. Um, the Cubs, maybe. The Rays, again. I mean, the Rays, uh, maybe they can do a BJ Upton and Matt Kemp deal, which I personally would love to see. But maybe it probably most likely won't happen. But it would be a nice thing, a treat for the Rays. Um, there were just tons of teams that could go after this guy. Uh, the Red Sox could even go after him. Um, the Yankees. Uh, I mean, the list goes on. I mean, I can say probably 20 out of the 30 teams right now in the MLB could go after this guy. Yeah. I really have to agree with you, but I really, I think the, the team that really catches my eye out of that whole list you just said has got to be maybe the Atlanta Braves. I mean, Dan Ugla. I mean, the Braves have to make a big deal. I mean, Nate McLeod, that guy is nothing, so he he's a trade candidate, but he doesn't make our countdown. Um, these are all the top candidates that could be traded, uh, but I can really see a nice package from for Matt Kemp. I probably put in Nate McClough in the package, sending over I don't know a lot of more prospects, but Nate McClough is just gonna be like a nice package if Matt Kemp is to get traded. But I can see the favorite is going to be Atlanta. Um, a nice package coming from Atlanta, so Matt Kemp could be out going to Atlanta possibly in my book. Um, next and to finally wrap up this video. Mike Cameron. Um, this guy is getting really too old. Richard, fill us in on what team could possibly pursue this old, old player. Uh, well, he, it's hard. Uh, he's another guy who I really, I really can't put uh, pick out a single team that would want him. He's scheduled to make seven point two five million dollars this season. I think there's another guy the Red Sox should just stuck with. Um, I can't really think of a team that would really want to pick up this guy's salary. Yeah. Um, I could possibly see him returning to San Diego. I mean, I've, I've been saying to you guys that Padres are having somewhat iffies in the outfield. Um, I think Mike Cameron got Michael um, Cameron Maven. I, actually, I said Michael, I don't know why. But I can see... Uh, maybe Mike Cameron may even come to the Red Sox for Mike Cameron. Um, just gonna go into I don't know because Mike Cameron played for the Red Sox uh, for the Padres in 2007 was the last time 
I actually heard him play for the Padres. But I really say that Mike Cameron's a really good train candidate for the San Diego Padres. So I have to say the Padres are my favorite for Mike Cameron. Um, Richard, is there anything else you want to throw in this countdown that we didn't cover? Uh, no, I guess we'll save some more players for the next countdown. But in our next countdown, it's going to feature players like Grady Sizemore, um, Shinsu Chu, the hot prospect Yonder Alonso, um, you know, players like that. So tune in next time for our trade uh, trade candidates countdown. Yeah, uh, we're trying to make this maybe a weekly thing. Possibly every Sunday we'll just throw something in there for trade candidates. So we'll keep in touch with you guys. If you get, if we didn't name a player that you think that could be a trade candidate, make sure to PM us on on email. Uh, email us at mlbbaseballblogs.yahoo.com. Facebook us. Um, Richard's MLB League News. I'm MLB uh, League Insider. So make sure to uh, PM us on Facebook and make sure to comment and just anything. So if you want to see any of your favorite players on a trade candidate countdown, We'll throw down on what player, who will go where, and pretty much that's all we're going to say for you guys. We'll talk to you guys later. Enjoy Sunday baseball, and have a great week.